A wall. A wall. Welcome aboard. Welcome, my friend. Hey everybody, welcome back to Part Time Adventures. My name is Jesse. Uh, so we forgot to do an intro earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and get one in right now to add to the beginning of this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you guys are watching all the videos that we are posting and then you guys are hitting that thumbs up if you guys like the videos we're putting out. Uh, but we're here at Disneyland or DCA actually right now, getting our day started kind of in the late afternoon. Uh, it's a cold Southern California day. We got plans to try to get on Guardians, not me, but maybe get some footage of it. And uh, eat some new food over at uh, Pim's Test Kitchen, not new, but stuff we haven't had before. So we can try that out. And then yeah, we'll just see what all is going on around DCA today. So come uh, check out the parks with us today. Alright, uh, here on Buena Vista Street, on a cloudy Southern California afternoon here at DCA. Heading to see what we can get into before dinner. Up oh, there goes Donald. I think we're gonna try to get on Jumpin' Jellyfish, maybe Jesse's Critter Carousel, before heading over for dinner at Avengers Campus. But yeah, just kind of looking at the crowds. I don't know if it's a grad night tonight or what. But it is been pretty crowded so far today. And the wait times kind of reflect that too. But yeah, we're just gonna see what we can get done today. Got here kind of late. And yeah, just gonna hang out and see what happens today. Alright, here we go. First ride of the day. Jumping jellyfish. Probably be the scariest ride we do today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to get one more time as my friend Adrian is coming back around. Don't do that, guys. Okay, I think we're going to go now. Yeah. Maybe. What? Alright, we had the switch towers here. Never had that happen before. There's something wrong with the original jumping jellyfish one we were on. So now we're switching over to this side, getting ready to go. Here we go. Nope, no warning. Just here we go. Oh my gosh, this is high. Okay, good view. Oh, I don't like the falling part. Uh, we do get a good view of Goofy Sky School, the new Pixar Hotel, and the Grand Californian Hotel. That hotel. Yep, that's the new Pixar one that they just finished changing over and retheming. Yeah, Pixar. Oh. Can we go check it out? Uh, not today. I don't think we're gonna make it over there.
book and play. He's just his best pal when they're saving the day. Cars land on our way to Avengers Campus, trying to grab our dinner. It looks like the ride might be down because I don't see any cars on the track, and I can hear like a voiceover. Oh. Somebody is uh, giving some directions there. Well, yeah, I'm assuming the ride's probably down. There seems to have been a lot of rides down today just as I was checking the app and stuff as we were getting here. So we'll see uh, how the rest of the park looks to see if there's other rides that are down and how the crowds and everything are. But right now we're gonna head over to Pins and get our dinner. All right, so I got my food, the PB3 Superb. It doesn't look at all like what I expected. Like the picture shows the bread grill, this doesn't look grilled, it's just like soft bread. And instead it came with a banana smoothie, so I didn't get a drink. But it's more of just like a little shot. And then, I don't know about you, but yours doesn't look the way I thought yours was gonna look either. What do you think? Uh, yeah, that doesn't look kind of like it was pictured either. But I guess we'll try it and uh, see how this is. It definitely looks different than what I was expecting. All right, so halfway done. I mean, the tater tots are good, they're just tater tots. I haven't tried the smoothie yet, uh, but I didn't eat one half of the sandwich. Um, it was a peanut butter and jelly with banana and bacon. It's pretty much exactly like what you would expect. It's nothing too crazy or too amazing. What about your salad though? How is it so far? It's good. Is it's it, a little spicy. But it's, it's not what I was expecting. Is it what you were expecting it to be? Yeah, it was. It has quinoa in it and the little shrimps and little lettuce and things. Oh, okay. And tomatoes. I know, it, just salad. Looked, it looked different in the picture to me, I guess. So I don't know. That's not what I was expecting it was going to be. But I'm going to try this smoothie. You can we can see how small it is. It's really a shot. Um, it tastes like artificial banana, like runts or something. Um, it's not. It's not great. Yeah, not. Not great. I. It's okay. I'm gonna finish this, but it's not something I don't think I would ever get again. Would you ever get that again if you were like in the mood for something shrimp here? Yeah, I like it. It's really good. That's good. Well, we're gonna finish up here and maybe we're gonna go uh, hit up Guardians. Yeah. Alright, yeah. who's brave enough for the first bite of our giant candy bar dessert? Mm, no, you wanna yeah. try the first bite? Yeah. Go ahead. Yay! How are we splitting it? Oh, cutting it. Oh, are you gonna cut it? No, go ahead and cut it. What? So we're not all taking bites off of it, I guess. So we got this giant candy bar here. I'll take the first bite. We've never had from Pins either, so we're gonna try this out. Hopefully this is good. Let's yeah, put it to fourths, I guess, or bites. All right. Another bite for you. All right, first bite, go for it. Mm. How is it? I don't like it. You wanna try a bite? It tastes really good. Tastes really good? Butter. Yeah. It's like a peanut buttery inside. Yeah. I think really it's mushy. caramel though. I don't think it's peanut butter. Sure? Yeah. No, it's peanut butter. Is it? Yeah, I don't no. remember there seeing peanut butter on no, the. No, not the peanut butter. Oh. I just, I just, okay. Uh, well, it's got peanut butter. butter. It's good though. It's, it's good? good? Yeah. Yeah, I like cool. it. It's really good. Alright, I'm going to dig in to have mine and then we're going to move on with the rest of our night here. I love it. Every time. 
All right, so a change of plan for us here. We are not gonna be doing Guardians because we were all just too full, I think, from that candy bar and the dinner at Pim's. And nobody really felt like going on that ride. I don't go on it at all anyway, so I was just gonna try to go through the queue. But now we're gonna head over to Disneyland and see what we can get into over there to end the night. Uh, the night's def definitely not going as we had planned. We thought we were gonna try to catch the fireworks, but it's just too cold and too windy. We don't think there's even gonna be fireworks. So we're gonna be skipping that. Um, yeah, we thought we were gonna try to hit up Guardians. Not gonna do that now, so. I want to go to Disneyland, see how we can, uh, see how we can end the day. And then getting to see Main Street extra lit up with like extra lights out here it seems like. So just me if Main Street seem extra bright like there's extra lights. I don't know. So we saw what looked like Oh, so, so yeah, we saw what looked like a wedding party coming through a special entrance, and yeah, it's kind of yeah, we could still hear them cheering. They must be uh, pretty wealthy, I would imagine. I can imagine a wedding here being cheap. <laughs> Weddings by themselves aren't cheap, so I could imagine how much a Disneyland wedding would cost. Oh my gosh, who thought Main Street was empty? It was not empty. JJ, what? who thought Main Street was empty? It was back there, there was like no Over one there, back town there. Over there, Town Square. Up here, it's pretty... It's okay, it's like, it's not as crowded as it normally is at this time, right? Yeah, there's nobody lining up for fireworks. Yeah. So... It's like, it's empty. I'm assuming hopes aren't high. Like, that's not empty, If nobody's but... lined up for it yet, right now. We can get the best spot without even trying. If you think about normal days and how many people would be on here at a normal day at this time, it's pretty empty. Normal days you can't even walk through here at this time. They have ropes up over here though. Oh, they do have ropes up. Interesting. I'd hope to head over to Splash Mountain and see what it looks like, but now it's too dark probably to even see anything. We got over here later than I wanted to. So we might not make our way over there this trip. Alright, so I'm not a big fan of Disneyland at night. I know I've said this like a thousand times already. Not only do I think it's hard to see my camera does too. My camera does not do well with nighttime video, unfortunately. But there are some good parts though. Tomorrowland and Main Street are, I think, exceptions. Because they both look pretty spectacular at night. And then not something you get to normally see. Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters with the doors closed. I don't know that I've ever seen that. So yeah, the doors are closed. The ride must be must be down. Must be closed for some maintenance or I don't know if it's closed for refurbishment or if it's just temporarily closed for today. But the doors, the Buzz Lightyear, are not open today. Uh, looking at some new stuff here at the Star Trader. Got some new art from the cantina. And they got this, it looks like a whole like collection. Like plates and stuff. And cups. And coasters. So it's like a whole like set that you can get. And then they even have the ears. I've never owned a pair of Mickey ears. 
Oh, those are really cool. I would actually wear those ones, I think. And they got like a shirt too to go with it. Man, I'm gonna get the whole collection, I think. That is some cool stuff. Cool stuff here. Uh, yeah, just loving that there's always like a lot of new cool stuff at Star Trader, so we'll just have to keep checking it out and seeing what they keep adding over here. definitely misjudged that we thought because of the wind and it was starting to sprinkle even a little bit we thought there wouldn't be fireworks so we didn't plan on trying to get a spot and now yeah we're missing out still haven't been able to see the fireworks show but hopefully next time we'll be able to catch you we'll have to be a little more uh, intentional next time so this weird phenomenon is continuing and we seem to be seeing it everywhere. Tried to go on Indiana Jones, it was closed. Tried to come over to Rise of the Resistance, also just went down and people are being evacuated out of the queue. So yeah, every Big Thunder Mountain is down right now. There seems to be very little that's not down, kind of weird happenings tonight but at least we got to check out galaxy's edge at night for a second we're grabbing some more cool shots galaxy's edge at night can't ever get too many of those but now it's starting to rain so it's starting to rain even more i think we're going to start uh, heading for the exit here and uh, call it a night. I don't know that I've ever seen this, but it is about 11 p.m., an hour before the park closing. And here we have an omnibus driving its way down Main Street. <laughs> Two passengers in the front. I don't think I've ever seen the omnibus running. 11 o'clock p.m. Crazy, it's been a weird day. We got moved sides on, up here comes the car too. We got moved sides on Jumping Jellyfish because it had problems. And then we had to switch like cockpits on Millennium Falcon because that one also was having problems. Indiana Jones is broken down, we tried to go on it, Rise of the Resistance. Just hasn't been our, our night for trying to get on rides, it doesn't seem like. But that will do it for this week's episode of Part-Time Adventures. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Uh, we got to go try some new food and desserts over at Pim's Test Kitchen. Uh, I got to go on some rides at DCA, see some construction, go on some rides in Disneyland, see some construction. Uh, we didn't get here till about 5 p.m. It's now 11, so I feel like we got to get them out done um, in the little bit that we were here. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed our evening, even though nothing was what we expected from the weather to the crowds to just everything going on. but. Yeah, so make sure you guys just check out uh, all the videos we're going to have coming out from this trip, though. We're about to get run over by the omnibus here. Oh!